This is Greycroft Stone Circle. Although there's nothing to see because it's so overgrown. That's British Nuclear Fuels wind scale plant just behind those trees there. The stones are good and big, but it's so overgrown, there's no sense of place. This is the stone circle, Elver Hill, but there's not much left of it now. All the stones are down, it would have been at one time. Very pretty little local circle. So here we are, right next to the M6 in Cumbria. And we've come to visit this monumental structure. It's called Mabra Henge. It's so big I can barely get it into the viewfinder. I'm standing on top of one of the ramparts, one of the massive rubble banks of this round structure, which rises maybe 20 or 30 feet, certainly in the case of that bit, up from the surrounding land. And in the middle, there's a very nice standing stone. No one really knows what henges were designed to be used for. Possibly uh, a meeting place of some kind, or trading, or blood sports, or some kind of defensive thing going on. I don't know. But they're very, very big. And here's a henge called King Arthur's Round Table. very close to Maybra Henge. It's kind of melted back into the landscape a bit more. Uh, and at, on the left hand side there you can see how the bottom end of the bank has been cut off by the road. But um, its shape is all there. This is Glassenby Cairn Circle. The ring of circle, the ring of stones you can still see actually were the edging stones, the curb stones, the mighty cairn. This would have been a ceremonial burial cairn. Now it's home to rabbits and cattle. A lot of young male cows. And down here you can see my big stick which I picked up to beat them off should they get too close. Ossifant, don't come here. But they're all scaredy cats, look. Glassenby Cairn Circle. This is Little Meg. The Cairn Circle. Tiny little thing, just in the corner of the field here. I say tiny, but that's quite a big stone. This stone here has some spirals carved in it. This one here is Long Meg, and she's an outlying stone to this huge stone circle. just in the world. Oh, Luke's got some very interesting rock carvings on her. You see those spirals? And like Avebury, this one's so big, it's got a road running through the middle.
people have tied all kinds of tat to this tree. An old sock, a child's toy lorry. If this is a, a way of revering the land, it's a pretty crap one. We're up on Moor Divock and we've walked across well, it's quite dry ground today to see this stone circle. This is called the cockpit. It's very spectacular up here today. There's lots of white fluffy clouds scudding through the blue sky. We've come to Langdale to have a look at these boulders on which is some uh, rock carvings. We're having trouble actually seeing them. They're very, very pale. So Moth's just putting some water over them to see if you can bring the designs up a bit better. 